Hey guys, I wanted to let you know today's video is proudly sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Welcome back everyone. My name is Ryan. I'm here in Papua New Guinea this morning on a nice foggy morning, just about as always. I brought my son today to work with me. We're heading out to Narambi, a place that I've only gone maybe once with you guys ever, and that was like a year ago. So let's go ahead and get ready for the day and get out of here. and check the fuel real quick, pull it out and get it fueled up. There's some clouds out there right now, so I'm not sure how the day is gonna play out. I think it's gonna be cloudy all day, so we'll see. We're all ready to go. We're just waiting on some of the clouds just to clear out just a little bit. Basically, I want to be able to get back in here. For some reason, if I were not able to land out there, do clouds or something like that, I still want to be able to get back in here because we don't have an instrument approach in here. But you can see it's pretty thin. It's getting to be blue here. I can see a little bit of blue out there. So I think probably within the next like 10, 15 minutes, it will clear out enough to where I can still get out marginal VFR and then back in if I need to. Well, you guys can see behind me, it is starting to clear up. We've got a little bit of blue sky up here. So I think by the time we load our passengers, start up, get to the top, it'll be cleared out enough that I can get out here marginal VFR. Well, if I forgot to mention, this is my son Chaucer. He's 11 years old. Um, he didn't get to come to work with me very often, so it's kind of nice that he's actually able to today because we're going on home assignment here in another month and a half, so we're kind of running out of time to be able to do fun things like this. Well, the sun is shining now, at least from this hole. <laughs> and I'm um, seeing a couple other little areas out there that I think we can get out through just fine. Broken Tower, good morning, November Tango Kilo. Request taxi, Narambi, 6 POB. November Tango Kilo, taxi, 17 left, turn up your track and line up. QNH 1017, time check, uh, 41, uh, 42. Copy, 1017, clear to backtrack, line up 17 left, November Tango Kilo. I wanted to take a quick second to let you guys know about today's video sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Now you might be asking yourself, what exactly is a VPN? A VPN is a virtual private network. It basically encrypts all your information that's sent from your device to the internet, keeping your identity safe at all times. What does a VPN have to do with flying? Let me tell you, literally nothing. But what it does have to do is it has to do with your personal data online and keeping it safe. And in today's day and age, that is very important. Not only that, it actually allows you to change your location of where the internet thinks you are so you can actually utilize all the services that you have. Me specifically, in Papua New Guinea, I don't have access to Pandora. I don't have access to Netflix. I don't have access to Amazon Prime movies. So what it allows me to do is change my location back to the United States and have access to all those services that I'm already paying for. So when I open up Pandora, this is what it looks like unavailable. So with Surfshark VPN, all I have to do is pick the United States and sure enough, it starts working. Now you might be asking yourself, well, Ryan, I don't live overseas. I don't travel to Mexico on a cruise or something like that where I might need that service. But do you ever get on public Wi-Fi? Let's say McDonald's, Walmart, wherever else that has public Wi-Fi. When you do, your personal data is open to the public. So by using Surfshark VPN, it actually protects your personal data 
when you are online. So Surfshark actually has a clean web feature that actually blocks ads, trackers, phishing attempts, keeping you safe while you're online. The great thing about it is they don't actually monitor, track, or store anything that you actually do online. That means no connection or activity logs. A VPN makes sure that your location and download history isn't actually even linked to your personal identity. Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk to try it out at all. So sign up today, start saving 83% off today, as well as three free months by using my link down below. All right, and now back to the flight. All right, we'll do an overspeed check as we come onto the runway. All right, and you can see the RPM is going up over 2070 plus or minus 50. Put our lights on real quick for landing and takeoff. November Tango Kilo ready for departure. Tango Kilo left hand clear for takeoff. Turn clear for takeoff. Alright, ignition condition flaps 20, fuel and harnesses. Clip is complete. 1390, rotate at 60 knots. Alright, torque is set. Let's get back on center line. Airspeed's alive. ITT's good. There's 60 knots. Rotate. I've got some hawks up here. I'm just gonna go ahead and pitch up for a second, get over top of them. There you go. Now I'm over top of them. All right, well, just a 20 minute flight out there to Narambi today. Be a really nice flight once we get out over these kind of like low lining clouds here. I'd bring a prop on back to 2,000. And pitch up for 99 knots. Oh, that's better. Yeah, it's always beautiful on top, isn't it? Looking really nice out where we're heading, so we're just gonna wiggle our way through these clouds right here until we get on top of them, and then once we get on top of them, then we'll be on our way. Croker Tower, November Tango Kilo, departed time 4-6. We'll be tracking 156 on climb 1-1000, estimating Narambi 0 9 er Tango Kilo, Congo, Morris B, 120, decimal 7, VHF, HF, 662215, miles southeast. 1-2-0-7, November Tango Kilo. And I realize when you're higher, it doesn't look like you're going that fast. Oh, no, it sure does not. All right, so for our climb out, I'm just keeping it right here. ITT as close as I can up to 720, so I'm just gonna keep adjusting it so I can get right on. My prop's at a 2,000 RPM, and I'm pitching for around 100 knots. 99 knots is the best um, rate of climb, and it goes down as the higher altitude you go, but if you wanna use the autopilot, I don't have it on right now, but if I wanna use the autopilot, I have to remain at least 100 knots or higher. I pretty much just trim it out for 100 knots on every climb. Looks like there's kind of another wispy, wispy layer right here that we'll have to kind of push our way through. Then I Dad. think once we get on top of that, we'll be all right. What's up? Uh, which, what are the clouds that are really bumpy? Uh, the ones in the afternoon, the ones that are white and puffy and really tall. Okay. Now these ones in the morning, they're really smooth. And I like flying through these ones. Well, I think 11,000 is going to do us the best to get out there today, just to be able to stay on top of all these clouds. Go ahead and hit my nearest right here. That way I know when I'm 15 miles the south of Garoka, so I can call it Moresby. But like I was saying, we're heading out to Narambi. I haven't been out there in probably close to a year now. And then after that, we're hoping, Chaucer and I are hoping to jump over to Awena to pick up coffee. Jeff and I tried to get in there yesterday. We're not able to, well, 
we, we could have, but um, we're picking up coffee and the person who owns the coffee or who has the key to where the coffee stored isn't there. So we told them, hey, we can get it today. And so maybe they said, well, we'll figure something out. In other words, we'll probably break the door down so we can get the coffee out so we can send it to town and sell it because it's a really good price right now. There's 10,000, 1,000 to go. More to the 120.7, November Tango Kilo, transfer. Go ahead and bring our torque on to 12.50 now that we're off the le level off at 11,000. Kilo cold. Go oh, it. okay. More to the 6622, November Tango Kilo, transfer. <laughs> November Tango Kilo, Mossy, good morning, go ahead. Good morning, November Tango, Kilo No Joy, 120.7, currently 17 miles to the south of Karoka, maintaining 1,000. Estimating Narambi 06. November Tango, Kilo confirm, estimate Morambi 06. Affirmative 06. Number Tango, Kilo, Hurricane 1006. No reported traffic. One zero zero six. This frequency near Rambi, November Tango Kilo. All right. Well, I just got a text uh, just saying Mosque Awena, which just means forget Awena. That's where we we're going to get coffee. So that's kind of a bummer. I was hoping to actually head over there because it's just an incredible, beautiful place. Wow, it's getting warm in here now that the sun's out. My goodness. Yeah. Now. Wait, are we heading to Awena now? Oh, we're going to go to a Norambi where we're. We're dropping these guys off. We were going to go get coffee right over here in Awena. It's like a really steep mountain runway. Um, got 17% slope, really exciting place. But they can't get the coffee out. So what we'll do is we'll drop these guys off. We'll head back to Garoka, and then maybe we'll film a video on the way back there as well. Because it might be a little exciting getting back to Garoka with all those clouds. All right, well, we're just 10 minutes out now. We're going to have to start heading down here in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up the strip chart for Narambi. Right, elevation 4,800 feet. It says it's, well, no, it is a one-way airstrip. I wouldn't land the other way. It says it's 5% slope. I think it was actually a little bit less than that. It was more like 4%, I thought. We could land with like up to a 9, 9 knot tail one, even if we're full up, but we're not today. We're going to be landing on runway 01, short final. The go around procedure is just power up, 20 degrees, pitch for 12, right hand turn out. It's a huge wide open valley, so really no dramas at all. So my plan to get in here is, I'm not sure if you can see this, we got a big valley here, and then we have another big valley. All the light areas are valleys. Yeah, yeah that's all what I thought, because the mountains are usually the dark ones. And right there, that's the valley. That is that a valley too? Like, is uh, it the green? That's just kind of low kind of terrain that's really flat. The ocean. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to about this valley, and then we're going to start heading out here and then curve around and come up the valley because I'm thinking that there's going to be a lot of clouds over top of it because we did call out for weather, and that's what they were saying. Dang over they, there, right there. They said we can come in down underneath, so that's what we're going to do is we're going to go out this way to lowering terrain. That's where all the clouds have stopped usually, and we'll get underneath of them and come back up. Do you see that giant cloud right there? So if we go around, oh, I can see the ocean. I go around that. Oh, uh, I don't see the ocean. The ocean's like 100 miles away. What is that up there? Uh, those are just, that's just clouds and sky. Oh. <laughs> Here's the ocean way out there. And that is probably like 150 miles away, probably. Let's just see. We're looking at, oh, no, it's only 78 miles away. Okay, so we're going to land. Um, in six minutes, we've got 773 pounds and fuel, which is great for getting back to Garoka. Um, 6460, so we're going to land with 64, so our VREP is 70 knots. Our fuel selectors we'll get in a minute. Our TAWs, we can go ahead and turn off our train awareness system. Our lights and inlet, we'll go ahead and flip those on now. I've already talked to our board. Uh, let's put it on a heading mode and then put OBS and turn to runway, what was it, zero 01 or 10? Zero? Zero 01. So keep on twisting all the way back here, zero 010. Zero. That's a nice line right there so I know the orientation of the runway. So I can just kind of fly around clouds and at all times. When we get closer, you'll actually see all the little magenta boxes show up on here. That way, we can see exactly where the center line is at any time. 
and the pattern is so touchdown is 4,800 I think. Let's just see if there's anything different. Nope. So 5,800 feet is what we want. Pattern altitude. Not really looking super great right here. We've got lowering clouds over there, but then we have rising terrain to get back into the valley we need to. So that doesn't look like a great option. So I'm gonna start heading out this way, start looking for lowering terrain so that we can just start our descent down as soon as possible. Thinking that the second we get on the other side of this ridge, this dark ridge, I think the clouds are gonna open up out that way. And they're starting to actually right over there. So, not great though. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head to the end of the valley and start my descent and just scrape over these clouds and then we can work our way in from there. All stations in Rambi, 120.7, Kodiak, November Tango, Kilo, 12 miles to the north, left 11,000 on descent. Circuit time 06, Narambi. And we'll be tracking to the southwest of the valley. All right, yeah, that's looking great out there. That's kind of what I was thinking, but I'm expecting it still to just open up right when we get on the other side of these this little mountain range right here. Okay, nice and clear underneath, though. All right, well, the clouds are already lowering like I thought. I think once we get right on the other side, it's just going to open right up, and then we can start our descent down That's really quick. That's what it looks like. Just, yeah, it sure does. There's a few little scattered clouds over there, but... Yeah, your Bravo is here. Yep. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fly overhead, around the valley, come around so it'll be on my left side, then fly basically upwind, crosswind, and then downwind, so I have a good... And there's a mountain right there. So That's right, there is a mountain right there. And once when we cross oh, that... Yeah, that, there's, uh, under those clouds is mountain, right? Yeah, there's rocks in the clouds. You are very right. Now that we're just coming up to the edge of the clouds, you can already see it's just dropping off drastically because it's lowering train. There's no more mountains in front of us. Oh, just so I don't have to increase my descent even more and more, I'm just going to go ahead and start reducing That's my power. Smoke. Is that smoke? Oh, those are just different types of clouds. Here. But put my fuel back on, get my last checklist. We've got prop and harness to do. If you're a pilot, you're a sim pilot, and you want to pick one of these up, I've got backlit ones as well as one for simple planes, complex planes, turbine planes, pistons, basically three different types of face plates that you guys can use. Really handy tool for keeping your eyes up and out and making sure you cover all through your checklist because it's like full well, today. I mean, I had my fuel off, but it was my first item. Oh, it allows you to quickly see, oh, I haven't checked everything I need to for landing. There we go. Look at that, wide open, just like we were thinking. We're gonna torque on back to probably 300. That keeps us nice and slow, but that way we don't have to increase our descent quite as much uh, with these guys on board. And lots of waterfalls. Look down there. You, get, you guys, you can't see it, but we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight waterfalls. Absolutely gorgeous everywhere. Tons of water today, let's too. See, let's see if there's any water. Bet you'll find some over there, too. All stations in Narambi. November Tango Kilo joining the circuit in Narambi. Mars 6622, November Tango Kilo. November Tango Kilo, Mosley, go ahead. November Tango Kilo in the circuit, Narambi, report after landing. November Tango Kilo. Just holding off, I'm pushing my prop forward just in my descent, just because it's quieter in here. If I push the prop forward, it just changes the tone inside the cabin and it's just kind of a, annoying. Or if I keep it back at 2000, it's just so much quieter all the way through my descent. And then once I'm going a lot slower, with a low torque setting, then I bring it in. You don't feel like that kind of feeling and uh, you don't really even hear me adjusting the prop at all. All right, Narambi's circuit, 100% wide open. That's awesome. Hey, where is it? Right up there, the top of the hill. See that? Got one down here and then one way up at the top. Oh, the one at the way up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going? All right, we're coming up pattern altitude. I'm just gonna go ahead and start bringing my power in. Autopilot off. We're just slowing on down to 5,800 feet. We will lose 300 down to base. So 55, turning final, 
5300. All right, looks like we're actually gonna have to drop down a tiny bit. These clouds look like they're a little bit lower than us, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start losing a little bit of altitude now. We'll go ahead and put our 10 degrees of flaps in now. We want 70, 80, 90, 90 on downwind. Looks like 5600, 5700 will work out well for the pattern. Uh, actually, no, still need to go a little bit lower, I think. All right, looks like, yeah, 5600 should work for the pattern. I'll fly overhead, take a look at it. Winds, maybe two knots of tailwind, that's pretty typical for here. We're gonna land kind of about where that light dirt patch is. That's the first cone in. That's a good spot to land. Give ourselves a little bit of margin. Wind socks completely limp. Don't see anybody on the runway. They've got a fence here now, so that's nice. Actually, it looks like more like 5,500 is gonna get me. Oh, I'm just gonna hold on my altitude, 5,500 all the way until turning base, then I'll lose my last 200 feet. All right, a little bit fast, 100 knots. We wanted 90 knots, so let's go 20 degrees now that we're beaming the numbers. 500. We're slowing on down, just pull power. Gonna remain 5,500. There's 1.4 indicated, 1.5, and we'll turn our base, start reducing to 80 knots, put a power off. We're already at basically our turning final, 5,300. There's our 80 knots, 5,300, we'll remain here for now. There's full flaps, checklist is complete. Final slowing to 71. Direction 70. 70 knots. There's 70 knots. 450 on the descent. Looks a little bit shallow. One knot tailwind, two knot crosswind. 500 on the descent. Looking a tiny bit shallow, I'm just gonna add a little bit of power for a second. There we go, now I'm gonna pitch back over. Still looking a little bit shallow. 500. Bit second. There we go. All right, we're continuing, looks good. Cut it nicely too. Well, there you go guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that flight out here with Chaucer and I. We're gonna unload these guys, check for weather in Garoka, and get back. So if you guys want to see the flight back into Garoka and see if we're struggling to get ourselves back in there this morning, then stay tuned because I think it's gonna be a cloudy one. Let's go ahead and shut down, turn off everything, and call for... Or is it 6622 November Tango Kilo on the ground, Narambi cancel, SAR. Number Tango Kilo, Narambi, salvage terminated. Thank you, November Tango Kilo. Hey guys, don't forget to check out the link down below. Save 83% today with three extra free months of VPN usage. Start protecting yourself today.